Now, Price Fighter may have ended up being just kind of a boring game, but an okay example of what could have made FMV interesting. And while it was broken, it was still exploitable, so it wasn't stupidly difficult, and it did have a good way of presenting FMV. Black and white worked for it. So you may be wondering, well, geez, he's about to rip this next game apart, isn't he? No, in fact, Slam City with Scotty Pippen. I, you know, this game ends up basically being Prize Fighter again in a weird way, which I'll explain. But truly, I just need to show you some of the footage from in this game that they shot to be as FMVs in this game to truly understand how balls insane this game actually is. This this is the kind of game you give to somebody who needs a good laugh or just to see what people thought the 90s were because it's gonna be a good time capsule of that. So let's jump in. So let's get the game part out of the way so we can get to the good bits. Slam City was made by the same devs as Prize Fighters Digital Pictures. As such, the game generally plays the same, though a bit simpler. Essentially, the gameplay to Slam City is this. You are playing a one-on-one -on -one basketball match against an opponent of your choosing. You watch for an opening and juke around them the correct way and score a point, hopefully, up to seven, but you can also adjust this. You can also just shoot the ball, but this doesn't always work and it's not recommended, but it's good in a pinch. The window for getting past the defense is small and gets smaller with different opponents, but with only two choices and a generally easier to discern pattern, you can pick up on these things a bit better as you play. This game uses full color as opposed to Price Fighters Black and White since it fits the style better, but the version you're seeing currently is the Sega CD32X version, a version that was slightly enhanced but can only be played if you own both a Sega CD and a 32X, which at the time was maybe 5 people. Still, it allows for more colors on screen which allows the picture to be a bit more vibrant, so if you wanted every pixel of Scottie Pippen to be at its best, this is the way to go. Speaking of, yes, Scottie Pippen was the endgame to Slam City, and let this be our segue into the insanity of the game. Believe it or not, the game has a plot, though this time it's even more shoestring. The story is basically, you are the newbie at the b-ball court, and you have no respect. So you need to earn respect, and if you do, you'll prove your worth and get a chance to take on King Pippen. If this was too elaborate a plot, don't worry. Scottie Pippen is going to help you understand the only way basketball players in 90s video games knew how. By rapping. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. What you gonna get? Gonna get respect. What you gotta get? Gotta get respect. What you wanna get? Wanna get respect. So how do you earn? Yes, Scottie Pippen has written a wonderful yarn about how you need to get respect. Not only does this song serve as a tutorial for your one and only objective, it gives you a quick glance at your four opponents. Fingers, Juice, Mad Dog, and Smash. Each having their own disc. Yes, this baby comes with four CD-ROMs. The reason for this being, unlike Prize Fighter, you can actually play these in any order you want and still very easily get to Pippin, so the Pippin basketball match is on every one of the four discs. In order to do so, you have to, of course, earn respect. You do this by playing games against one of the four opponents, getting sweet dunks, making nice swish shots, and by playing good D. You'll need to work hard since you need... One billion points? Are you duck fucking mucking me? I mean, not even being great at it, the amount of grinding for respect points from the same four opponents would take hours and hours. Unlike Prize Fighter, the amount of points you get is based not only on just the difficulty your opponent, but the score and what kind of gap you have. So if you have one point and they have six points or what have you, you'll get more points than if it was a close game. Also, the difference between dunks and plane shots also matters in points, and also how many times you've played the opponent. If you play them a bunch of times, you won't get nearly as much respect, for whatever reason. Of course, to account for this, instead of having cutscenes for each match that tell a more cohesive story, the characters and events play out during the match, and you need to play multiple matches to see all the different interactions and comments. That isn't to say you'll care about any of the characters even for a bit, but man... These are the best part of the game. So instead of explaining and going on more about how this is just basically like Prize Fighter and the small nuanced differences, let me convince you why Slam City is as great and 90s as shit by just showing you some of the fantastic cutscenes pretty much unedited. 
Ooh, that's some good green screen ball recovery. Oh, hey there. Game's only just starting, but uh, yeah, you can come grab a seat. Right? Can we get back to the game. Back to the game. Why do we care about? Why do we all stop? Excuse me. My name is Smooth. We stop for that pickup line? Really? Really? Okay. Well, good. With that out of the way, the game's getting good. We getting in the rhythm. Let's go. What the hell? Really? Again? Again? Girl, your feet must be tired. Why you say that? You bought it? You've been constantly running through my mind. Why are you? Brother, please. And you're acting surprised as if you weren't expecting that. Really? Again, we all stop just to watch this guy not pick up a chick. All right, we're into a new match, fighting Juice. We're gonna take her to the court. I got the fucking dunks going. Let's do this. What? Really? Look at—he's not gonna be any different. Yeah. Why are we obsessed with like, people trying to pick up people? Super Rock FM. Get concert tickets to any concert. Oh, I'm sure they're all great. Well, why don't you take him then? Who's that? Oh. Well, he seems like a nice fellow. And an expensive date. Yeah, great. You gonna try to impress my girlfriend with shitty free concert tickets? Nuh uh, I'm taking this straight to the net. Oh, hey, um, sorry to intrude. I was just, you know, over there playing b ball and now I'm I'm here looking at you. I'm I'm sorry for intruding. You know, whatever. Hey, the, the, the best Williams going on, right? Like, literally right over there. You just, you, all you have to do is take that chair, turn it 90 degrees, boom. Front row seats. You don't have to watch through TV. It's a tube TV, too. The picture clarity is going to be terrible. Like, just, just watch the game. Out there. It'll be fine. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay, okay. You can watch it in your room. I'm fucking sorry. Maybe if we just stand still, he won't notice that we've all stopped playing basketball and are staring at him, worrying of the fact that he might snap every one of the necks here. He might be like a T-Rex, though. Just don't move. He won't notice you. Can't hold me. So we're just gonna act like that's that nothing happened. It, it, this is this is a small little garage we're playing in. There, there's no way no we didn't notice. Like we're just gonna not address that. We're just gonna let the guy do his thing. What's that? Uh, oh, he's he's the next opponent. I it, I quit. Bye. Fuck you. I'm not. It ain't Scotty Pippen. Ain't worth this shit. This must be step on some soft week. Yeah, I'm uh, feeling you on that one, crazy man. But how about we do the quick fire 90s lingo fun time? You can't buy change for the bus, you're late for work, and you're unemployed. Ooh, Ace just took a foot in the chest. At least the shoe was clean. Man, I went over you like a summer breeze. Boy, you crushed him like a jelly bean. Ooh, that was pure power. So, how's it feel like just seeing a basketball? Yo, this five dollars gonna buy some game. Oh, must be feeding time. Club the ball. <laughs> wow, I uh, yeah, I don't think we're topping that one. Let's just finish this off with the most pointless scene in the entire thing. Uh, here's crazy guy eating a random piece of food and shoving it in his mouth. And that's Slam City in a nutshell. The game is pretty simplistic overall, and generally plays like its precursor prize fighter, but the simplifying of the gameplay actually makes it more enjoyable, but the grind it adds in is ridiculous. Also, the reward for the grinding, the match with Pippin, is surprisingly easy and doesn't contain a lot of footage, making it not really worth the effort at all. Luckily, many of the cutscenes, while well, pace killing to the gameplay, are terror good and worth watching alone. Not to mention, if the pattern recognition twitch reflex style of game is your thing, you can totally do worse than Slam City. Is Slam City a masterpiece, or even subjectively a good game? 
and nah, not really, but it manages to stand above many FMV games of the time by at least being entertaining. And sometimes, that's enough. Oh, I hate that. Thanks as always for watching guys, there's a couple videos you can go check out from some previous sports stuff, you should click subscribe if you haven't already, please, and uh, I haven't figured out how to do filler time, so uh, here's a few more seconds of this song. <laughs>